welcome back to Jones clan back in a caravan. For about 15 months we have used a tyre monitoring system. Um, this is called TirePal. There are numerous um, systems around. Um, I did look into it at the time and uh, thought that TirePal was suited to us. So, what uh, we've done is used it for 15 months on the caravan. Um, there is a video to follow. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it is a bit uh, wobbly because uh, somebody's hands and arms couldn't reach the uh, steady um, on the video, but it's all natural. So, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, now, tyre pal can be tailored to motorhomes, trailers, HGVs, caravans, even vintage vehicles that don't have a tyre pressure monitoring system. So keep keep a, a look on to what we do with our tyre pal. Um, there will be in the description links for trailers, caravans and motorhomes. Um, there is also a solar powered one which they recommend for motorhomes. So, see how we use ours and I'll see you at the end. So, as you can see there, when you're starting up, it doesn't register because the batteries within the units on the wheels are in hibernation until the wheels start rotating. Uh, and then they start to give you a reading in PSI and temperature. Okay. And here's the tyre pal sensor actually on the wheel of the caravan. Zoom in. There's one on each wheel. There is uh, one of the two um, tyre pal sensors that we have on this caravan. As you can see there. Now what you have on these are the sensor, a rubber outer sheath on, on this which is there. Uh, also, also you get a tool for undoing and changing the battery and behind the sheath is a nut which, and you get a spanner as well which basically you nip up when you apply the sensor to the Schrader valve and that stops it from rotating out uh, plus you also get a seal uh, within them as well and you get a reasonable stock of and you can get spares from uh, tyre pal themselves. Hi and welcome back to Jones Clan back in a caravan. Today we'll be talking about cam uh, caravan safety and this is one of the devices we use which is a tyre pal. As you can see it indicates the pressure of the tyre. Uh, as you can see there sat at 61 psi and temperature in each tyre is 18 and 20. So as we progress down the road we'll show you how the tyre is affected by the heat generated by driving. So as you can see we've driven about 10 miles now and on the tyre pal you've got tyre pressure of 66 and 21 degrees and 66 and 20 degrees that's basically the friction generated by the tyre increases the pressure within the tyre by the temperature which is standard. Uh, this will monitor it because you set a high and a low pressure 
warning on the system when you set them up. I, uh, we've done about 45 miles now and as you can see the external temperature on the instrument panel is 17 and a half degrees. The tyres are running at about 22 degrees with about 68 to 69 psi so everything is good. So we're going along a bit steadier now. There you can see the psi and the temperature. It's quite a warm day today. What's the temperature Dave? 24 and a half degrees. Yeah, 24 and a half degrees. you found that informative. Now I have been in contact with uh, PayPal and um, made them aware of what I was doing and they have offered for a discount if you buy through their website. So if you do um, go into your basket or put whatever you want into a basket um, go to check out and then you'll get a um, box asking for a product code or something like that. If you'd like to put in Jones Clan 10 into that box and accept, um, it will give you a discount on any purchase made direct to Tyrepal. So if you like this video give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe it helps the channel and of course it's free and ring that bell for any notifications for our next vlogs. Just leaves to say stay safe. TTFN and see you soon. In conclusion to the uh, tyre pal, um, I've purchased quite a few things that really you could say yes that's your favourite. But this one uh, as far as safety of the caravan goes and also, insurance wise, um, if you've got this in registered with your insurance, it will reduce your premiums. So, all in all, it's, it's a winner. Um, the other side, if you do uh, upgrade your caravan to a multi axle caravan, you can purchase more sensors. Again, if you've got a, um, or get a, a vintage, well no, not even a vintage, a, a car that doesn't have um, the rolling tyre protection, um, this, for the cost, may save your life and lives of others if you have a blowout. Uh, watch my uh, next video on tyre maintenance and uh, inspection and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so this was just a sort of an add-on from the end, um, an afterthought. But do stay safe and again TTFN, see you soon.